crime that exploits an adult through fraud, force, or coerce, or that engages a child in any form of commercial sexual exploitation. A commercial sex act is anything or item of value traded in for any sexual service desired. Human trafficking is recorded as the third largest in international crime industry, leading behind drugs, drug trafficking, and arms trafficking. It is recorded to generate a profit of $32 billion a year, and 15.5 of it is made in industrialized countries. Now, sex trafficking has been around for thousands of years, starting from the ancient Greeks and Romans, through to the medieval times, and until today, humans have been forced to perform various physical and sexual acts due to slavery. The Nation of League, which is an organization that strives for world peace. At this time, which was 1927, the U.S., there was a power of white slave traffic, and they changed it to traffic women and children, just so everyone was included and there was no discrimination at all. Children of both genders were also recognized as victims of trafficking. Along with that follow many causes or reasons as to why someone would pick that lifestyle. Nobody would want to pick that lifestyle. There has to be some factor that will push someone. The number one factor is poverty. After that, seeking more opportunity. And after that, political, social, and cultural changes that will push the victims away and into the life of sex trafficking. Now, how many of you watched the first Taken with Liam Neeson? Good. Okay, so in that movie, the father fights to find his daughter who was kidnapped and being sold for sex to men in Paris. Well, not only does it happen in Paris, but it happens here in the United States. The U.S. is a foundation and destination for sex trafficking. Men, women, and children are taken to brothels, escort services, strip clubs, massage parlors, and hotels, and are prostituted on the streets, or they are forced to participate in any type of pornography going on. These are kids now. Women and children account for 80% of trafficking worldwide. So that's, what, 20% of sex trafficking are men. Majority is women and children. Usually, majority of the victims are girls that are run away from home because they are, because they are, they were abused as a child, sexually abused, and physically abused as children. The United, according to Donna Hughes, a writer for Fair Observer, in 2000, the United States passed the Trafficking Protection, Trafficking Victims Protection Act, TVPA. And the United Nations adopted the protocol to stop, suppress, and punish trafficking in persons, especially women and um, children. So, in the United States, sex trafficking is a crime, but it continues to happen every day to our men, women, and children. In conclusion, sex trafficking serves as a major business industry in many countries, including the U.S. It is one of our inhumane issues that are happening worldwide. 